guys, it's Holly. I am so excited to do this um, reveal today of this candle from Scentcetera. I've never ordered from Scentcetera before, and if you have, or if you've watched other people's reviews, then you know that they are normally, they all look the same. They all have the, um, the same white color candle with no dye in them or anything like that. So, I get to introduce to you the very first two layered double scented candle from Scentcetera. That's right people. Two layers, two scents, the very first one. This is the prototype. The owner's name is Erica. She is so, so sweet and she was kind enough to send this to me for me to test for her. Um, cause she was thinking about, you know, maybe starting these on her website, but she wasn't sure. So I get to be the tester and I'm really excited about that. I couldn't decide between the Wildberry Moose scent or the Birds of Paradise scent. And she said, well, Hey, why don't I make you a double layer candle? I've been thinking about offering them and it would be a win-win situation because you would get to test out how it works, you know, if it does okay and you get to smell both of the scents you really wanted to try. So I was like, absolutely. And it's beautiful. It's um, the Wildberry Moose is on top and then the Bird of Paradise scent is underneath that. And she put glitter all over the top. Look how beautiful that is. There is just something about glitter on a candle. I mean, you can't go wrong. This scent is to die for. I am just, I have sniffed this candle so many times since I've taken it out of the box, it's ridiculous. It smells creamy and fruity, just like real wild berry mousse would. And it's really aggravating because I did a whole video unboxing. Um, I showed taking it out of the box and everything and the whole video got deleted. Don't know why, but at least everything came out of there fine, so it didn't matter anyway. Um, but the candle smells amazing. I want to do this video in several parts so I can give her a good idea of how um, the experience was for me. I'm going to, obviously this is the first part, the unboxing and, you know, smelling it and seeing it. I'll do, um, another little bit of video when the candle burns down to where the scents start to mix a little bit. And then, um... I'll be able to tell you how everything smells and all that. Now she said when we talked about doing this that she was not going to put jewelry in the candle and I said absolutely please don't don't worry about that at all. I'm just thrilled that I'm getting to try your wax number one and number two getting to try something that no one has before. Um, so yeah there's jewelry in this candle. So Erica, you absolutely did not have to put that in there, but that was very, very sweet of you and I do appreciate it. Um, she said on her note that she wanted to just make sure it was a test of how a real one would be. So she wanted to put some jewelry in and it was just super sweet. But um, yeah, I just hope that you guys are as excited as I am to see all this. And I can't wait to burn the candle and have my house smelling like Wildberry mousse because it smells awesome. See you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back for the second part of my Scentcetera double layered candle. Um, this candle smells amazing, first of all. I lit it this morning and um, it was really early when the baby first woke me up and then I went back to sleep on the couch and when I woke up, oh my gosh, the whole downstairs, it just smelled like wild berry mousse. There was no mistaking what scent it was. It was very true to scent. It smells just creamy and like the berries. Um, it smells awesome and look how beautiful this is. The glitter just floats on top like a pool of glitter. Some of it went down, but a lot of it's on top. Um, anyway, the wicks are starting to mushroom kind of bad, and I see the jewelry poking out, so I thought I would go ahead and try to reveal it. Um, now, like I said before, 
Erica said that at first um, that she wasn't going to put any jewelry in. But then she sent me this note that said she wanted to test the buy level with the jewelry. So she put in a piece that was marked as 925, but it failed simple sterling silver test. And it's, she said it's still a pretty piece of jewelry, though, and I hope you enjoy it. First of all, I'm not going to be picky at all because I'm testing this for her, which I'm thrilled to do. Ooh. And um, I couldn't be happier about it. I didn't want, you know, any jewelry to begin with. It's just a fun extra that I get to enjoy. So I am not picky at all. Okay, the jewelry wasn't completely loose, but it came out pretty easily. I'm not, I'm going to move this back because it's smoking pretty bad. I'm not sure. Oh, that smell. Okay. I think I'm, I think when I pulled the jewelry out, the bottom of it was stuck in the Bird of Paradise layer. And that smells amazing. It smells like strawberry. Mmm, I love that. Okay, I'm going to quickly see what this is because I don't have much memory left on my camera. Got to go do some deleting later. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Even without the jewelry, even without the double layered, even without uh, the fact that it's a tester, even without the glitter, even without everything, I would recommend this company because this candle smells incredible. It is a ring. Let's see if I can get this open really quick. So we already know that um, I'm not going to look for markings because she's already told me that it is Mark 925 but that it failed the, the test. Let's see. That is okay with me. At least that goes to show that she does test some, if not all, of her jewelry and that she's honest about it. I mean, hello. It's a great thing right there. Okay, come on, Ring. Come on, Ring. Ooh, it's be yeah, that looks like a crown. Don't you guys think? That, I'm going to pick up the camera here. That reminds me of like a tiara. That's beautiful. Um, I'll see if it fits, but I'll show better pictures of it later. My camera's about to die. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. That reminds me of a tiara. Okay, y'all, I'm back for the last part of my Scentcetera double layer candle review. Um, I have now gotten down to the bottom scent layer, which was the Birds of Paradise. I'll give you guys a little peek in there. You can still see the glitter floating on top, and it's really pretty in there. Now it's to the red layer. Um, uh, for me, the Birds of Paradise scent is not as strong as the Wildberry Moose. Um, they have similar qualities, I think, because I know the Birds of Paradise has strawberry in it, and I can definitely smell the strawberry, which smells really good. It's just, um, it doesn't have that heavy, like, creamy note to it. So when the layers started to mix, you know, you kind of... The creaminess started to become less, but you could still smell the berry part after the white layer went away. Um, so yeah, I mostly get strawberry, and it's a very like sweet, fruity smell, but it's not as strong of a scent as wild berry mousse was. Uh, let me see. I um, Overall, I love this candle. I would definitely give it two thumbs up. I just was very excited to be able to try you know both scents and the first prototype of a double layer candle and um, if you guys are as excited as I am about it 
go to the Sense Cetera Facebook page and tell Erica. Tell her that, you know, you saw the video and you would love to try one for yourself. And I'm sure if she gets enough positive feedback, then, you know, that'll help her make her decision about if she wants to proceed with putting them on the website or not. Um, I'm sorry if I sound a little raspy. I woke up today with a sore throat, so I'm like, oh, great. Here it comes. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, this candle was awesome. I really, really love both scents. And I'm not sure if she would decide to make double layer candles in whatever sense that the customer chose or if she would you know kind of put them you know ready to sell on there like two cents that she knew would go together because obviously when it gets to the part where the two cents would kind of mix in the like where the layers meet then you wouldn't want to have two cents that completely clash with each other so um, but I'm sure that you know, either way, if she did it customer choice, then hopefully she might, you know, give a little hint like, hey, you know, Downy Fresh and Chocolate Fudge aren't going to mix so well in the middle together. So, hmm. <laughs> but anyway, she's awesome, and I know that she'll think of a great way to do this. But um, I hope you guys enjoy watching the video, and yeah, like I said, let Erica know if if you think this is a great idea and if you'd like to order one for yourself and um, these are currently not on the website so you know right now as you're watching this you won't be able to go on there and and get them but you know hopefully in the future it will be an option and I'm not sure about you know if the pricing would be the same or anything like that this was just me just trying to help her out and do a friendly little test for her and see what I thought. And yeah, the verdict is in that I loved it. <laughs> so I personally hope to see them as an option on the website because they're beautiful and you get to smell two different scents in one candle. So I think they're great. And I can recommend this scent combo that I had, which was the Wild Berry Moose on top of Birds of Paradise. All right, you guys, um, thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, you can go to the Scent Cetera Facebook page, and um, I hope you all have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.